So um, I'm going to show you how I wheel it down the driveway. Like I said, I'm on a little bit of an incline here. So there is some tension on the crank, but um, I can always release and that lever drops down and it will lock. And, um, but I always want to be careful that if something happened with the valet, I would want to be getting out of the way so it could just slide, the trailer would just go slide down. So uh, here's how we do it. thing, I'm just going to check where we are, is, as you'll see, to get it to turn, right? We've got to turn it in the road. Luckily, we're not on a, a double yellow line or anything like that. Let's um, just going to put this like this. That's the right one. And I'll show you how we turn. So right now, there's some tension on the crank that I'm just kind of pushing back on, but it's no big of a deal. So I'm going to want to get out into the road a little bit, and then I'll show you how I kind of am able to uh, turn it. So right here is where the weight of the trailer is really kind of pushing down, you know, but I could always let go, right? If I let go of this, it's going to drop immediately and lock, lock the trailer. Obviously easier, there's nothing in the tanks, right? So I usually at least drain all the fresh water before I wheel it up and certainly don't fill the fresh water. All right, so now we're basically down into the road here. I'm going to swing it out maybe like this. So I'm going to want to uh, watch that telephone pole there. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to do my turn. So what I can do now is do something like this. Where I can just push it. could switch it to the lower gear, but I found this works okay. The key is to just basically clear the road as quickly as possible.
show you uh, show you what it's like if I put it on the, uh, the lower. So I could put the, the crank on the, uh, the lower one, which does give uh, a little bit more control. If I want. Now we're close enough to the thing. And uh, I'll show you how I hook it up. Let me get the keys. So I, uh, I greased my, my ball, um, it's okay for now, we're not going too far for the day. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the high gear. Set it up, now I'm going to lift this up. The one thing I've found is that um, sometimes this doesn't want to drop down far enough. You'll see when I put it on the truck. The weight of the trailer, hung weight, on the Tacoma is a lot, so um, sometimes it's not too happy. Uh, and I can't pull the trailer valet out from underneath the truck. Um, and I'll show you how I get around that. It all just, just works, so that, that's good. Now I can completely release the trailer valet. So, um, this is all the way down, quote, quote, but it's not, it's not completely released. So I've run into this a few times, but you can actually pull this pin out on the bottom of the trailer valet. It's just kind of a stopper, and that gives you just that extra half inch that you need. Now I'm completely re released. Pull the pin out. Pull this out. And this one in here, and I'll show you. I'm just gonna lift this up till it gets to that stopping point. All right. So that's it. Now we're gonna we're gonna put the chains on, put the lock on, and. Um, this guy is ready to go back in the garage. Thanks for watching.